going. We going Ooh. hard. We going. Put your phone on vibrate. Oh, you're dripping water on me. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Why didn't you wring it out? I first? made it nice and moist. My, no, that's so like a soaked. That's not moist. Why it won't be soaked when you use up some of that moisture. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys! Yeah, Happy Q and A Wednesday! Ah! Oh my! Cheers! All right! Oh my! Oh my! I can use it for my boob sweat. I should just put it in my bra. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna help. Maybe. Maybe. Hello, Happy Veronica. Girl, you are on it and upon it tonight. Happy Them Wednesday. Two looks. Kathy. Hey, Kathy hey, and Kimberly. Kimberly! Yay! She's oh. from Minnesota. Two favorite ladies. My, you must not get out a lot. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? Thank you. You are way too sweet. Welcome. I'm so Hi, glad Faye. you made it, Kimberly. Hey, Faye. Oh, yeah. She said you were going to try to make it. All right. Bring We've my got, phone so, on vibrate. I'm not checking. This is our outdoor noise. air conditioner. Oh. You love it? it? Look at that. My mom got it for us. It's a little kitty. Yes. So right now, while our house is um, a mess, we have to do it outside. But yeah. We are making be long. progress. I'm not going to, I'm not going to our... say next live again. No, um, no. It's we just going to all, all little... of a sudden happen. You're going to jump on the live and you're going to be like, where the H where are these are girls? They? What's yeah. happening? Because we're going to be inside our home. You guys, you. you guys. Hey, Teresa and Rachel. Rachel. Hey, hey Rachel. girl. Happy tomorrow to you. Yes. Over there in Australia. Hello, my love on Instagram. Hey. Ever got, ever, ever, yeah, I never know. I never know though. Ever, 424. Ever gas. Ooh, that's like you on the weekends. <laughs> I'm like forever gashes. <laughs> on the weekends. Wow. The weekends. 105 makes that air conditioner have to work a little harder. You know what I'm saying? It does, but you know what? Without that sun, Ooh. now that the sun is gone, it for me, you know what would be nice is a little breeze. A breeze you would know, be amazing. Do you know the maker of the wind? I know the master you know, of the wind. Oh, the master of the wind. Master. Maybe <laughs> that's why I never That's an old it. Baptist song. Hi. Um, so welcome everyone to our Q&A Wednesday. Thank and you for, hey Jen. I our shirts. Jen, Thank you. Hey. Um, these we have the most comfy shirts and the most coolest yeah. people on the planet to send us the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> or give it to us. Yeah. Like uh, Doc and Phoebe gave Doc it to and us. Doc Phoebe. We were super, super excited about year. this. We're like, really? We and a t-shirt. And yes. Furry Tales in Canada. And as these, uh, which are, are like cool. my absolute favorite. Unfortunately, I can't fit into that shirt yet. I mean, fortunately for you, because we'd have to do some. You know, I was thinking about that. I was about thinking that. about this today. The the whole like um, us always, especially right before CatCon. We're going to CatCon. We're so excited to go to CatCon, and we're going to be gone like a week, like foggy and cold, a and week half and two days. days. A week and that. two days. We're leaving to go to Pasadena, California, for the biggest cat convention. Yeah. In the world, um, and it's always like our most favorite time of year. We get really it's excited about it. It's the most wonderful time of the year. year. That's how we break fingers. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> but hi, Carolyn. Forgot what I was saying. Oh, I was thinking in the car today about how we always have this goal, like right before CatCon, right before like lots of things, but it's. Every year, it's right before CatCon, or not right before CatCon. It's like months before CatCon. We're like, we're gonna lose some weight before CatCon. Oh yeah, we're gonna get in shape before CatCon. Don't we all we're do that. Get, probably we, like, we say that, and then I was thinking today. I think I was listening to Gary Vee on my way to the post office, and I was thinking, you know, <laughs> when things are really, really important to me, I do make them happen. I show up extra times at the gym, which I don't go to the gym, but I do extra workouts. I do extra stuff when it's super important to me. So maybe I should just look at it as it's really not that important to me right now. When it becomes important, I will make it happen as we do with everything. Yeah, I mean, uh oh. What is happening? <laughs> well, you shouldn't put this on the table. Oh, no. You got blood on your face. <laughs> you said, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Wow, who's jumpy tonight? Jeez, y'all. We'll just put it right here on my knee. Okay, that's a good right. spot for it. All right, uh, so welcome everybody. If this is your welcome, first welcome. Wednesday showing up, hey Kelly and Becky. Becky. Hey Becky hey, and Mary uh, and Carolyn. 
Um, oh, okay, if you guys, if this is your first time coming on a Wednesday night, what we do is a Q&A session Look, where Q &A, we post something and we say, hey, ask us anything. Ask us your questions. We and got some good ones. We got so many questions. I think we have like 17 Whoa. comments. I haven't even read all of them yet. But here's the thing though. So also, and then, and then you can chime in and ask questions as you go to, we're not experts on everything cats, but we do love to learn. Um, a, a, we love to learn everything cats. So, and then, and then we know like a little bit about life too, or we can give you some funny advice if you have a question yeah. about life. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Like, oh, what we did funny. was, I was like, so you guys know that we've been a little like um, pixelated these last couple lives. So hello, Dana. Hey, Lori. Lori, Kelly. Oh my God, you guys! It's like a happy Wednesday. Boom, you come down. Um, so we've shut off all Wi-Fi to every device, both phones, Pandora, Alexa, our printers, even her laptop that's hardwired in. She put it on airplane mode. So if you all see us getting pixelated, let us know because we'll be extra mad about it. Yeah, and and I talked to our internet provider on Monday, and I'm like, dude, we're paying like for the highest quality internet, and we cannot live stream without getting interrupted. So help me here. They were like, really I'm sorry, saying, you have an outage in your area. Yeah, Yo, I'm sorry that you guys have a monopoly in our area. Uh, Kimberly said y'all should totally ditch that shedding table. I agree, Kimberly. She's no, the plan is... She's like, oh, no, I'm going to sand it down, which is going to be like next year. When we're done... Uh, uh, we have a house <laughs> to fix first. Y'all, last we night do. we spent four hours. Four hours. Let getting me show you a little video. The thin set underneath the tile from our kitchen with... A, what do you call it? A, ha a, a hammer chisel. A power hammer. Something. A, a big tool. It's a, it's a big tool. It's a big tool. Yeah. Big tool. It's a big uh, tool. It was exhausting. Yeah. Kimberly's here. Hey, this girl. Is, this is Adrian last night. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rocking it. Four hours of that. I showed someone at work today. They said, that looks like fun. I was like, maybe for the first hour, but come on. I wouldn't even say the first full hour. It was like the first, like, ten minutes. It was like, all right, all right. And it's like, ow. We are too old for we this. Were, we were hurting. We were hurting. Hurt, 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 hurting. Oh, hold on. Okay. Oh. Foggy in half, foggy and cold in half moon. Theo, Chris, I'm sorry. I'm so bad with Instagram. Yeah, news. it's okay. Uh, it said, my best friend's kitty passed away yesterday from oh, respiratory, respiratory failure. failure. What do you think how this would what happen? Happened? Oh, I'm really sorry to hear oh, that. Oh, I'm so, so sad. Yeah, it's it's really sad. So I mean, there's many. So Respiratory cats failure. Cats get colds too, but there's all kinds of cat so colds, questions. right? I mean, H one N one. You can get all kinds of um, um, really severe respiratory um, <laughs> issues. I, you know, I, our cat, our oldest cat, had a chronic respiratory issue for twenty, for years. almost twenty two years of his life. Yeah. Um, and um, it wasn't curable but it was manageable and it's just, I don't know. I don't know, um, but I'm really yeah. sorry. Yeah. Very sorry. Not, you don't have if, to think if, what if. You don't have to yeah. think what if. Yeah. Just uh, just know that that baby's going to come back in a, in a better and happier form, healthier form, hopefully. You think so, huh? I like to have hope. I like, I like your attitude. Uh, but DM us, or what is it on Instagram? Yeah. Private message, DM. DM. DM us. If, if there's... If, I have to teach her how to use Instagram at some point. Oh, I am so dumb when it comes to social media. Kristen said, are you two talking about big tools? Yes, we were. We, Trish is here. Good evening, Barbara. Trish! We love the big tools. It's not a jackhammer. Uh, it's, a, it's a hammer jack. That's what it's called. A hammer jack. So it's a little... It looks like a... It's about this big. Can you see? About this big. But then, and then the it's got bit is like this big. Or the chisel. Well, the chisel bit was like... Oh, it's like but there. it's like this long. It's long, yeah. Yeah. So it was quite quite the task. Quite the task. Yeah, but we got her done. Sioux Falls, South Dakota. What's up, Anne? <clears throat> hey, honey, hey. to you, Kimberly. Hey. We miss you. Oh, we oh miss my God, you. we get to see you in a few months. Just around died. the corner. It's going to pass. It's going to go by so fast. And then you're going to be here. And I'm so Yeah, Mary, <laughs> our cats, uh, we're not, our, our cats are upstairs in the master uh, bedroom. So they didn't have to, right. they weren't like right 
right oh. by all that noise. Yeah. But well, and they're kind of used to it because we've had construction we going on in our house for like basically Non-stop. a month and a half or oh. more. I mean, really three months because on and off. So <laughs> Kimberly said, not actually a question, but I got to tell you, Olive is totally killing me with how darn picky she is. Darn kitty cat persnickety little girl. Persnickety. <laughs> I think that is the first uh, time that I have ever seen persnickety written out. Really? Yeah. Wow. I've heard people say it forever, but I've yeah. never actually seen it. Well, I have hope though, as Jay likes to have, because sometimes it's like a season. Mr. Biddles hope will be is that. good. Is that even a song? Is that a song? Hope is nice. Oh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you don't, you don't remember you the don't song? You don't know the song? You don't know the song? <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. Oh, oh my. Okay. Okay, so we got to get to yeah. Q&A because we, we had, got a bunch of good We stuff had a bunch tonight. of questions today. Like I'm really excited. Hey, Mickey hey, and Ann. Mickey. Ah, uh, okay. So we, um, I am telling Facebook to put it in a chronological order so that we you can, can do that. Yeah. Look, if you go to the post, you see how much I have to learn. You can view by most newest relevant. Oh. Newest. So if we do newest, then it should be in chronological order. And then I said chronological. Chronological. Like chronological. And then if you go down to the bottom, first question is from Donna Burfin. I'm really sorry if I butchered your last name. Probably did. Yeah. Well, how would you say it? Burfin. <laughs> um, okay. How do I get my cat to stop chewing on wires or my flip flops uh, and such? I think I think he, he thinks, thinks he's, he's a, a dog. dog. This happened. This happened with our um, with our twister. It happens yeah. with our kitten still yeah. sometimes. Um, but there's a lot of different things you can do. So. One thing that you, sorry, <laughs> one thing that you can do is um, use some type of deterrent spray or um, or like sticky tape. So and on your items wires, that are, right? Yeah. On items. So um, you can use double-sided sticky tape, which just kind of deters them. And once they stop thinking about it, once they're like, oh, I don't like that item anymore, then they, they'll move on to something else. Um, or you can use something citrus spray. Now, not like Use an all natural, uh, all natural citrus spray. Wow, that's, that's tough for you tonight, huh? Yeah, that's all natural citrus spray. Use an all natural citrus spray. Um, and <laughs> what um, with that, the cats usually don't like that. So you can mix like lemon, orange, or both, yeah. and with a little bit of water and spray it on those um, those items. And they also don't like that. So that's a deterrent. Um, Positive the best reinforcement thing, too, though, yeah. like distracting them with something else. Yeah, that, that's more fun. Than I want what you to doing. do this. Look up desensitization and counter conditioning. Desensitization and counter conditioning. That is spelling. the best way. When you look it up, it, it makes perfect sense. You just have to kind of read into it. But um, it's the best way to change uh, behavior. If you have a cat that has a specific behavior that you're wanting to change. Decent station and counter conditioning is the Piggy way. Piggyback on that so, is also look up uh, feline behavior solutions mm -hmm. with Dr. Marcy Cosby. She's the one taught us about it. She taught us about that, and she is brilliant. Totally speaks cat, and it can be such a huge help. Absolutely. With some of these behavior is behavioral issues. Yeah, wow. That's difficult for you, Sarah. Hey, we girl. We actually had sleep last night. We did have sleep last night. We actually said, "Where's got... my beer? Oh, Go get your beer, is. girl. Is it okay if I drink it for you? Hey, Sarah." Ah. Mm. Mm. So we get quiet every once in a while when we're, con when we're, we're consuming, consuming our beverages. Our alcohol. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So next question is Sentry Stop. Bunny. That spray works well. Sentry Bunny Elizabeth. Sentry Stop. Donna works well. Check that out. I don't out. know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Um, Bunny Elizabeth, what is the name of that electric electronic mm. device that repels fleas? So I, I heard of something called like a flea zapper. That might be what you're talking about. And then there are some that have like, I would just look up flea zapper and you'll probably find it all. But Electronic um, device that repels fleas. Yeah, I think there's one that's like a brush that's, I haven't heard anything like, I haven't heard anything either way about them, positive or negative. Oh, and we've I never have no Wi-Fi, so my 5G is not being helpful. Good. Good? Mm-hmm, because you don't need to. 
Um, so look up. Uh, She's in a mood Zapper. tonight, I don't know y'all. What the name of it is. Flea so, Zapper. You know, What's that electronic thing? I don't thing? know. I also don't know zapper. if it's if we can if we recommend it. I don't know either because, because I was a zap the fleas without zapping your baby. Oh, we never and tried I don't it. Like, we never zap heard. My baby. I want to zap my baby. Yeah. It would be like using one of those collars, baby. like the shock collars or something. Right? I mean, we're just not it. We're not a fan of that stuff. No. Nah, okay. Right. And Marie. Nah. And Marie. And Marie says we have a nine-year-old, a true cat, and not a hundred percent friendly all the time. It's a true cat. Any chance we can get, we can get a kitten? He will accept. Oh, okay. Whoa. Whoa. Probably. You know what? I'm right we're here. here. Yeah, they saw that. They saw that cross hanging from your. Oh, that's from so your. <laughs> yeah, you know she has a cross hanging. No, someone from her um, rear view mirror. mirror. And apparently, we found out today from one of you guys. It's that illegal. <clears throat> it's illegal. And you state. can either go to jail for six months or get like a thousand dollar a thousand dollar fine. fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the popos are after you. They're like, "Where's that girl in Las Vegas?" Like that's what they're looking for. That girl has a cross. They don't show up <laughs> if you're in the middle of it. Not in Las Vegas. No. In Las Vegas, you could ba you barely get pulled over for unless it's like end of month quota time. You barely get pulled no. over for speeding, and you need to like they are looking for drugs, and so we get we get by. We don't know a lot, so we stuff. have kind of a skewed opinion about what they're probably looking for. So, hey, Anne. Okay, Sarah's, Anne Marie. Anne Marie. Oh, Jen sick. Any no wine tonight. Oh no. Did you drink too much before? Did She's you drink sick. too much She's last not night. Hung over, different. Hey, I say it's the same word for me. If I'm hungover, I'm like, I'm sick. I'm so I'm sick. So <laughs> yeah. Well, um but it's different. You know what I'm saying? It's different. Sarah wants to know how long how the heck we sit out in the heat that long. AC, baby. It's it's called AC air conditioning. And that means a wet towel. Wet towel. Wet towel. It makes all the difference. Mm -hmm. I did it in France when I lived in France for a little while. And in they, they don't, don't make air conditioners over there. I really believe in air conditioning, sir. Um, <laughs> but uh, I was in my like little flat and I was hot AF. Like in a little was, flat. It was in your little and flat. And it was in August. Say, like, and it was the hottest month of the year. And they, I was like freaking out. I was like, they don't have dryers. And Jay gets grumpy. Jay gets real grumpy she when she's like, born. She was like, wet a towel. And I literally, it does like, it changes your life. I know. Life. I know. Yeah, she's going to wet a towel. Easy. And she, okay. So I say, and Marie, I say, yes, it is very possible. Now, you might want to try something like fostering first just to see oh. if this works. But I will tell you that our um, our older cats, our, our problematic child, as we like to call him, Pooh Bear, we he's were really precious. worried about bringing kittens into the home with him because he's very territorial. And he's very he's big. Very, yeah, he's very he cat-ish. Very he's big claws. Doesn't like, he's not always the nicest cat in the world. Um, but. He's had aggression issues. He's had aggressive, aggression issues in the aggression past. Is I, I was going to say he's had aggressive issues. Um, <laughs> yeah. But uh, it turns out just with a little bit of that, you know, counter conditioning, desensitization, confidence building, um, scent it's swapping, things like that. Like little things that did not take a lot of time and we have not done them done them consistently. It's made the world a difference. Couple things real quick though, for especially with a cat that has like, a, that is a little two cat, um, spend mm -hmm. some time really playing with them one-on-one -on -one, away from any other mm -hmm. cats. Uh, and also if you are gonna try to introduce, scent swapping is so okay. huge. It is so big, y'all. Yeah. And we have, it, go to our website at 2crazycatladies.com, T-W-O, crazycatladies.com, and do a search um, for introducing. Just look up the word introducing, and we and, have like a breakdown on our website of how to introduce a new cat into your home, and yeah. I say go through those steps. That's the best way, and that's the way that we that's did it. It's the way that Jackson Galaxy does it. It's the way that all the young there's some good, Yeah, there's it. some good ways to like, um, speak cat when you're doing the introduction. But yeah. also just keep in mind, too, there's uh, so, some really great stories out there about this, like, really old feral cat that was sick and they finally trapped him and brought him in and he would not have anything to do with any people at all. And they had a litter of kittens that uh, were abandoned that didn't have a mom, probably under terrible circumstances. And he turned into the biggest cat dad ever and was such a lover to them. So cats, definitely, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Definitely, definitely don't think that you can't introduce a kitten if you're about to. 
Yes. Okay. Yes. So Barb Morton. Barb, Barb has been a follower of ours for like I think she's since OG. The beginning. Since yeah, I think you're like beginning. OG. Uh-huh. Um original gangster. I'm glad that you spelled that out for everyone because well, yeah. Because you had to tell me that not that long ago. She had to explain to me what um, OG was. Okay. Barb said what Camille. vitamins Sorry. Hey girl, how you doing? I mean, you just excited her in the midst of a Q and A session. <laughs> We'll talk about that tomorrow. Um, yeah, you need to calm down. Barb said, what vitamins are in beef soup, bones, broth without the bones? Beef soup, bones, broth. Beef soup, bone broth. So beef bone broth without the bones. Okay. So, well, okay. First of all, if somebody, if if you have, okay. Use you your can't, words. You can't make bone broth without bones. It's just kind of the part of it. So... If it's beef soup, I don't know the answer to that. If it is beef, if, if it is bone broth, right, that you make with the bones and then you extract, like you take the bones out and you sift it and, and it's just bone broth. There are so many amazing vitamins and minerals within Whoa, bone broth. Down. Seriously, like I think it's like vitamin A and K. You've got calcium, um, magnesium, even some zinc, some phosphorus. Like it's like a super, super healthy all Lots around. Of good stuff. Yeah. All around great um, additive to your bone broth is really good for your vets. babies. It's also really good for you. Although I can't believe you're I not a top gross. fan, Barb. Um, Amber, what I'm are you not calling her out like that for. Oh, Vicky said to go back That's to the babies. Be careful fault. with stress, especially with males. Hey, Mama, Almost sorry. lost my baby boy. Almost lost my boy last month with fostering. I don't know what that means, Vicky. I don't know either. I, I think there, there's probably more conversation above that we haven't seen oh, oh, about oh. be careful with stress. Okay. Okay. So Amber said, "What? Wonder why he only sleeps like this? So he, cute. You know what I happy. say? This is okay. So, so I don't know if you guys saw the picture of Friday yesterday. She sleeps. She sleeps like this. Just like that. Only she like." She curls a little, her curl. a little bit she more on her roll. top, but yeah. then she leaves yeah. her like, Ooh, legs good. spread wide open. But she that. doesn't Maybe that's why they do always. It. Oh, I it's just insane. popped. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they do it, y'all. Okay, <laughs> yeah, because it feels Ooh. good. Feeling, no, but feeling really good. No, but um, that is a a sign of trust. So if it's you huge have when a kitty shows you their belly, yeah, and and it's a sign of trust. Like uh, we have two, so two cats, so Zoro and Twist are like. From the get go, always they've always just been trusting of us. They sleep like that. They didn't even know us, and they're like, "No problem. You're cool. We can come and kiss their belly while they're dead asleep." And they're like, mm, "No big Bye. deal." Um, Friday is when she's around her brothers. She does not sleep like that. But the past few days, she's like, "Princess girl, I don't want to stay in the room with the boys. Can I come in the office with you?" And I'm like, "Yes, of course you can." So I bring her into the <laughs> office with me. They have these conversations. We do. They do. It's Usually in, in like a helium voice. It's for me. Well, and her. Because she's like, me, 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 me. scratching at the door, which says, "Hey, Mama, can I come I in with you?" Mentally and I swear she's mentally stable. She's yes, fine. Princess, we can come here. And so she comes into the office with me anyway. I didn't know. Anyway, that sorry. Go ahead. Then she gets up. She she loves on me for a long time, thanking me. And then she gets up on the thanking me. She gets either on the chair or on the <laughs> on the desk, and she just flares out just like that. Like, what does she do? Flares, flares, flares. Look at my S's. I just changed my S's. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys were on our Sunday live, Lord. that makes sense. Anyway, yeah. um. So she gets trusting when the boys aren't around. When it's just me and her, she's like, okay, I can sleep like this and this feels good. So, yeah, that's the answer. That's, that's what that means. Audra said my Maggie sleeps like that, too. Missy is here. Missy. What? How you doing, love? Missy. Mama Charlene said I'm so happy to see your faces. I was a little worried if all my kids were going to survive the past weekend. We almost oh, did. Oh, hunty. We so, almost did well, not. Well, we didn't get to we didn't get to spend as much time with um, May, Leonardo de Manuel. Yes. Yeah, Leonardo, as we would have liked. But Sunday, we Sunday night we were like it, it showed. We were delirious. Because, yeah. Slap happy. I don't even know. Yeah. 
Yep, yep, yep. Debbie yep, yep. is so here. we were doing hey, the girl. poolside drinking with him like he was all day on oh, God. Sunday. That that I don't, I, I would not that. have made it. I would have yeah, just been not a, like call me an ambulance. Um, I'm too old for that. Call an ambulance. Okay, so Sarah said hello. Cat has crystals in its urine. What do you recommend? Cat has been at the uh, veterinarian for a couple of days now, and I heard they had to oh, catheter a couple times. Um, and then there's some comments on that too. I feed my male urinary tract food. Micheline, Micheline, I really like that name. What a beautiful name. I do have to um, respectfully disagree with the urinary tract cat food. Um, so when it comes to crystals in the urine, if we're talking about, for the most part, usually struvite crystals, right? Vicky was just talking um, about oxalate yeah. crystals. It's a, so those happen too. <clears throat> yeah, there are oxalate. Yeah, there are Very oxalate, and it, no oxalate rare. is is rare. Um, struvite is the most common yeah. uh, crystals, and that's when they have a more alkaline urine. Um, and so, and that's and that's actually very common, especially in male cats, to get oxalate crystals. Um, it's not very common, like oh, that's normal, um, but it shouldn't be normal. But um, the urinary tract food is oftentimes so the urinary tract food. Here's the thing about the urinary tract. Food. Say, let's just say um, about prescription urinary, prescription, like prescription diets, or veterinary, yeah. veterinary and diets right. or whatever. Um, if it's all like Royal Canin or something right. like that, Royal yeah. Has like a, a, don't they have a wet one for? They all, I think they all have a wet one too. Yeah. And 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 if you have the choice, if the those are your only choices, go with the wet. But the the thing is, what they do with this is they increase the salt so that your cat will drink more because your cat needs the moisture to flush the urinary tract. They also, um add in a little bit more acidity to the food. Problem is, is that the rest of the ingredients are shit. They're, Whoa, uh, language. The rest of the ingredients are not are quality. Not quality. So we're, 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 feeding, <laughs> we're feeding a food that is um, not, uh, we're feeding all not of these helpful. ingredients that are not, not, not gonna help your cat's immune system and all these other things, but it may help this one specific issue that they have it's kind of like those medications you know like we go on like a, they give us a medication and it's like oh, okay great my heart is better but now i have you know, my tongue now, is swelling and i can't breathe yeah an like, erection in the last four hours right. i mean i hate you it are when that happens really <sighs> um but so in what we recommend tonight. is feeding a higher quality moist moisture rich diet yes. right if you can reduce the stress, because that is really, 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 really important so for cats with urinary um, infections, urinary issues <clears throat> altogether. In fact, 70 plus percent of cats with urinary issues is directly related scientifically to stress. stress. So we want to reduce the stress. We also want to make sure that we're feeding a moisture rich diet. Cats have a low thirst drive, which is why they have to increase that salt um, in, the, in the food to make them drink more. They're not like dogs. Dogs will drink all day long. Cats have to, um, cats don't have a, a high thirst drive, so they have to get their moisture from their food. So we need a moisture rich diet, and then you can add in something. We have a product called Urinary Cat Plus. It's pure ascorbic acid, vitamin C. So we're, we're you're already um, acidifying that and, and dissolving crystals and building bladder lining and all of that. Um, but you're also getting quality ingredients with the quality food. So that would be my, that would be my recommendation. Do you have anything to say about that? I'm, I'm on to Lisa. Lisa said, got to run with a dog. Now, Lisa, have a good night. Um, but how do I get into that fun VIP group? I signed up. <laughs> did you? Okay, go look up Team Crazy Cat Ladies. Look up Team Crazy Cat Ladies. On the Facebook. Um, yeah, in groups. And and send an invite. And then you're in. And then you're in. And like Flynn, baby. That's it. That's it. You should have got an automatic email. Missy said poop. 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 Why? Poop. I don't know. I don't know. It's always about poop. I don't know, but... We'll talk about that later. <laughs> it's like one of our favorite subjects to talk about when she comes over. Let me get on a roll. Okay, Crystal. Yes, for real, Kimberly, on a roll tonight. Crystal said, my one-year-old Sphinx boy will do a sound that is like a reverse sneeze only when he is needing. Ooh. Have you ever heard of this? And is it okay or should I be worried? Okay, so <clears throat> um, maybe, maybe not. First of all, um, there is a, a gal called April uh, Cat Health Coach that uh, yeah. you that is specializes in sphinx cats um and the health and well-being of them go follow her on facebook 
Um, however, when it comes to the whole reverse sneezing, we have a cat like that too. I would recommend getting them checked out, Crystal. I mean, just for peace of mind, even yeah. get them checked out first because um, sometimes it could be a, a respiratory issue that like flares up when they're excited, right? Or it could be allergies that flare up when they're excited. We have one that has this had herpes since he was a kitten, a little, little, little baby, little, little, little. Um, Mr. Biddles. And when we really love on him and he's like, needing the air and stuff like that he starts sneezing um it's a, it's like a reverse sneeze it is oh, um, the back word. that's what she said too. oh i will uh, also say though that twist who is it who really i think that he was first came to us at about a year and a half so we don't know what his like actual formative age. moments were but i think he was weaned a little too early sometimes when he gets really excited about needing he'll actually it's almost like he's suckling and it'll sound a little funny Really? So it could be like, you've never noticed that? No, I mean, he drools. He drools, but when he it's drools. like, it's like he's. <clears throat> he's. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's, yeah. I mean, that's like smirgling. Well, but I'm like, just saying, not, like, it's. That's it's not reverse like, I'm just saying, like, a reverse. That's not like no. a Mr. Biddles, no. No, not like Mr. Biddles. Yeah. Just keep it. Let, let me keep it. Oh, what is this She's question, like, actually? Just be quiet. I'm going to. I mean, what is his name? Lizel? Lizel? Lizel, Lizel Lou. Lou? I really like that name. Liza Lou. Yes, we do. Ship says, our products do you post internationally. your products internationally? Yes, we do. So here's the really cool thing, guys. Okay, so if you're looking to get our products and you are um, international somewhere, <clears throat> anywhere, uh, basically anywhere, you, in the world, almost anywhere in the world, um, you can still get our products. And you know why? Because we um, also work with uh, Jackson Galaxy. Jackson mm -hmm. Galaxy and us work together. So there are countries like Europe and um, South Africa and uh, like a few places in, in uh, New Zealand, Australia, all of these places that we ship to, that we do post our, our products to. And then all the places that we don't, it seems like every place that is that we at don't. least that we don't. JG do does. does. Yeah. Add that to the rest of So it's baby. like our... Cat daddy to the rescue. Cat daddy to the rescue. So yep. the, the answer Excuse is yes. Excuse me while I... <clears throat> That's real weird. It's not as weird as it looks. It feels amazing. Okay, so I think we only have two more questions. Okay. I'm going to let you read that one because it's long and I want to drink my wine. Miriam, I have a 10-year-old cat, Calico. She was declawed when we got her. She will not get into a, a box with litter. Oh, this Never is your question has. anyway, if it's a litter question. You know how I feel about the litter. Oh, oh right. yes. It seems, oh, it seems to hurt her paws, which is not unusual with declawed cats. Mm -hmm. I have tried every kind, paper, those little balls, everything. I finally figured out the urine. I use a litter box, which comes with a plastic mesh-like insert so you can lift it up and dump just the used litter out. Well, I decided, how about laying that plastic mesh on top of clean litter instead of the bottom? Now she just steps on plastic and pees, but still poos, on the floor next to the litter box. Oh, I changed the litter from, I changed from litter to doggy pee pads under it. Easier to toss out. That's kind of clever. So any ideas how to get her to poo in the box? She doesn't, she does scratch on the floor around poo on instinct, I think. I have moved her poo into the box, but that didn't work. I need ideas, please. Oi. Oh. I, I was reading comments and I know so so I'm, I get the gist. I'm now. wondering though if the so I was thinking maybe try putting the pee pads the little doggy pee pads next to the litter box so then he, oh you know what I know to, best advice best advice right here wow okay just best go advice, ahead Miriam Miriam go check out feline behavior solutions <laughs> That's seriously true. like this is beyond she our will have we, we could make up something goal. and we could be like try this and try that but we haven't dealt with an issue specifically like this. And uh, Dr. Marcy Kosky is yeah. a feline behaviorist, and I'm sure she has. Um, dealt with and, something like this before too. Yeah, and so yeah. she will have better ideas than we do. So Feline Behavior Solutions, Dr. Marcy Kosky, M-A-R-C-I-K-O-S-K-I. -I. You're a really fast speller. Really good. Um, you. Ew. <laughs> Probably nobody gets that. We used to watch um, Dong Geese together. It was very exciting. It was very exciting. I mean, one in particular, but 
Um, okay, and then Betty Hoskins says, I have a cat. He's just over a year old. Most of the day he plays with his toys, jumps around or sleeps. Then I would be standing or walking. He runs up and grabs my leg and starts biting and puts oh. his claws in. He has an awful look in his eyes and stares at me. I holler, no, no, no let go but he seems to just dig in more i have to get my water sprayer and spray him in the face three or four times that look in his eyes scares me looks mean help i don't know what to do this happens mostly in the oh evening. betty any help would be appreciated okay betty betty, betty. Um, again and i said earlier and you want to look this up um desensitization and counter conditioning you can look it up on google there are many, and then they say in cats, like desensitization and counter conditioning in cats and go look that up. When they're, when they have a certain behavior and you are, um, that you do not want, um, then it is very important for you to kind of take control of that. The water bottles, we're not a big fan of the, the, the punishments in, in general, we're not a big fan of just because the research shows that the cats, although it seems like my parents' cat, it seems to like my parents are like, it works. Um, is it, that it, how they talk? Really? Are you going to be proud No, of? they talk like, it works. It works. Works for us. Um, but, and, and, and it does. They have a great cat, and they've pretty much, you know, raised him kind of like they raised me. Um, <laughs> you seem to turn out okay. <laughs> and I'm all right. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but, um, but oftentimes, these types of punishments will end up turning your cat away from you, like make them more... Or exacerbate um, basically, the issue. they see you because they're doing this instinctively, right? They're they're attacking something they see coming by them in that mode when they are attacking, when they're in attack mode. Now, there's a lot of things that you can do internally that uh, will keep them from needing to attack your legs, right? Well, they and, you can you can give them other things to hunt and gather in the home. Um, Doc and Phoebe, <clears throat> hey all. Doc and Phoebe has a hunting feeder that you can put the food in these little mice and literally hide it around the house and that that one keeps them um energetic keeps them exercised lets them do the hunt catch or hunt hunt catch um play and eat scenario the cats uh, need and and it will like just kind of keep them away from why are you touching my phone i, I was holding it Oh my God, she's in a mood tonight. <laughs> okay, but Betty, I also want to say this though. I would not be surprised if this is a very young cat. Yeah, and one year old, over a year old. Oh, just over a year. Okay, Person. so this little kitty has a lot of energy. This little so kitty like, went to market. This little kitty went to the market. And this little kitty wants to play, and this little kitty sees you moving around. It's like I'm gonna jump on that. So today, right now, we should start rhyming. <laughs> But here's fun. What if we could like make a whole live where we rhyme, where we like work to rhyme every? That would be really boring because we would just be sitting here thinking about what to rhyme. Anyway, Betty. So here's what I'm thinking: is that most of the time, most of the day, he plays with his toys, jumps around, or sleeps. So that's I'm not what thinking, you're thinking. That's what you're reading. Right. So I'm thinking though that some engaged play with him, like really take some time to play with him. I'm thinking that it's like it's like a. Um, hey, Brooke, have you ever been loving hey, like, one of your kitties and all of a sudden it's like, hey, okay, Barbara, Pooh Bear, Illinois. for example, when, when I'm loving on him, he is not the most affectionate cat, but when I am loving on him and he doesn't want it to stop, he will grab me and be like, the hell you think you're going? We're not done here. Watch your mouth. I said, how? Like, it's an actual place where you're probably going to go because <laughs> <laughs> I said shit. You said shit earlier. Um, it keeps going away. Anyway, I'm thinking that it would be really helpful to spend a good like 20 minutes a day really just playing with him, a wand toy, engaging, helping him get some out some of his energy, mm -hmm. and then do like the hunting feeding system. Boom, Doc and Phoebe's, yep. where he can actually go looking Give for Give him food. something else. That's the that's yeah. the counter conditioning. That's the desensitization. And most importantly, and that's the counter conditioning is give him something else that he gets the same thing for, but. Um, or he gets to, he gets to do the same thing. He's stimulated. Yeah, he He's gets excited. to stimulate. Yeah, he has yes, a lot sorry. of energy. Yes. And also remember this: that when a cat gets really excited about something, maybe it looks a little scary. They get the big eyes and they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna do this." Don't let it don't let it be fearful to you. 
Mm-hmm. We learned this the hard way with Pooh Bear because he was a very aggressive cat and it was, Jay had a little more anxiety than I did. So yes. I would put on the leather gloves and the overcoat to go and handle what needed to be handled with him at the time, which I felt bad about, but he was in bad shape. Um, but having her in there made him even more aggressive. So cats pick up on our fear or on our stress. When Look at, look at his excitement or him uh, jumping on you and clawing at you or biting you even. Uh, as him really needing to get some of that energy out and look at trying to focus that and, and try to step that. away from, yeah, and step away from that fear, understand that, you know, you're his human and you guys are going to work this out. Yeah. Yep. A hundred percent. I love it. Okay, cool. That's all the questions that we have. But prior, um, I'm really excited about this. So, um, Heather's here. Mary, Heather girl. Was it Mary or Carrie said, uh, oh, Carrie said, can't wait to get my t-shirt. Don't mess with my cat. I will cut you. Oh, oh so guys, gosh, yeah. I don't know. We haven't, we haven't done a shout out on this, um, on live yet, but we do have some merch now. So Heather you guys know that up. we're always like, Adrian is always like on my nerves in these lives. And I always say, I will cut you. I'm going to cut you or something like that. So we just decided one day, like, let's just make some merch and, and, get it get it basically just to get it for ourselves and then offer it to you guys if you want it it's through a third party called teespring um which is awesome um because we tried one time before like three years ago to sell t-shirts and we like that was a like we lost a lot of money (laughs) that was a bad idea because we have to buy all these sizes and have all this stuff made and it was like really difficult hold Um, on did we miss it yeah where are you going well linda said it's Lisa, an emergency. Linda. Listen, Linda, it's an emergency. I need information. And then she said, hello. I what? give them wet food, no hard food. Where is the original? Oh, Linda, I'm so sorry. We need your original post. OP, please. OP. So I was trying to scroll back. And I can't find it. I don't know, Linda. I don't know what your question is. Where is it? Where is it? Um, Can you post it again for us? Yeah, copy paste. You're like copy paste, super simple. Yep, try that. Control. I don't know, it only lets this go up so far. So you'll have to post it again. Yes, I'm sorry. Um, and Heather got one too. Yay. Yeah, we're excited. We got them too. Heather, they you should be on the way the soon. Thing. We'd like to have them by next week before CatCon. Not not that we already have CatCon shirt, so but whatever. It's like super, worry, super awesome. Okay, somebody said something about they my cat wants her cat treats, but I told her I'm watching the cat ladies right now. <laughs> Mary, Mary, yes. Okay. <laughs> so thinking about cat treats, real quick, just because I um was watching somebody else's live the other day and they have like top fans and they have sharers um that will come back and comment. Will some will will somebody um share this share this live on your page and then come back and comment to see if it says share like if you turn into a share because um because i want to know what that is i'm just curious what are you doing oh getting wow. another beer hey grab the wine too we still have one. yeah but who knows how long we'll be here oh uh, no probably not too much longer um yeah i'm sorry linda you can private message us too uh i don't know why we're not getting Sometimes we don't get all of the, oh, here it is. My cat is laying in the litter pan a lot. Oh. Have you taken your cat to the vet? Is it, uh, so sometimes well, cats actually just do that because it's not an emergency. And they just do that because that's where they like feel comfortable. There's a lot of like memes out there about cats laying in their Like that's litter. their second like, home. They're like, mm-hmm, this is where I feel comfortable. Um, so sometimes it's not actually a. I don't know why she's doing this. Nate, no, I'm not getting my taco hat. I have to get a beer because, you know. Um, taco I would say always goes with beer. Sometimes, Linda, what I would try doing is providing another space. Like a litter box is, I don't know if it's a closed litter box that you have or not, but cardboard boxes, they just did a study about this, mm-hmm. about how cardboard boxes literally, see what I said there? literally help... <laughs> Uh, Not cats literally. heal because because it reduces their stress. My suspicion would be that she's staying in the litter box because she knows it's her space and that she feels extra safe there. And maybe maybe there's another pet in the home or maybe there's something going on, like we've got all this construction going on, and yeah. that feels like a really safe space to her. So what I would do is try providing another small cardboard, perfect cat size box for her to um, to have nearby. So she's not just laying in a litter box. She has a place that she can go where she feels 
uh, really safe and secure. Um, that would be my suspicion. So I would try providing another, another place where she's not going to feel trapped. You know, a litter box is one of those places where cats feel super safe. They know it's their, they know it's their jam. You know what I'm oh saying? God, I, was like, playing, I was playing with uh, Zorro. I was playing fetch with Zorro today in the room. Yeah. And the ball, the green ball specifically kept in the, going yeah. into the, every time I bounced it, it would go into the litter box. And then I'd be like, don't even try to get it out. I'll get it. But once Mr. Biddles was in there and he's like, Excuse what are you me? doing? And intruded on my litter box. Excuse on my comfortable me. space. Yeah, so sometimes it's actually not that big of a deal. Don't overstress it. Do oh, take Brooke it to the that. bed if you're comfort worried space? about it. Yeah. yeah. If you yeah, have if, comfort space. Yeah, sometimes it's not that big of a deal. And, and, and again, counter conditioning, uh, desensitization. You, I would, can, you can, you know, uh, look up ways if it's a behavioral thing. But if you're worried about the health of your cat, definitely take her to the vet and get her checked out well, just for peace of and mind. And you seem pretty observant. So I would, mm -hmm. I would just do a couple little things to check, right? Make sure that she's not in a litter box because she can't go to the bathroom. Make sure that you've got some good, like, golf ball size pee wads in there and that her poop looks nice and firm. I'm all about inspecting those litter goods, you know what I'm saying? So make sure that she is eliminating, um, that she's not in there because she's having a difficult time doing one of those because that is a definite trip to the vet. Okay. So Caitlin is the second time she's asked this question, but you oh. keep talking. Wow. You are in such a mood tonight. Right, Caitlin? Anyway, um, she said, is there anything you should avoid in a raw diet if feeding a cat female who has struvite crystals, who's Ooh. had struvite crystals? Um, not that I know of. Now, we're not, we're, we are not formulators no. of cat food. By any means, we try, we didn't try with you guys, but we tried ourselves and we are not comfortable with it. But we, we want to look at, um, if you're looking up ingredients, if you're DIYing your cat, the cat food, then you want to look up um, more alkaline ingredients versus more acidic ingredients. For us, what we found for our cat that is prone to, to struvite crystals because he has to be, he has an autoimmune disease, he has to be on some kind of medication every once in a while, so he's more prone to uh, struvites. Um, I, I just call them struvites you now. You did. Um, you're like struvites. He, yeah. uh, we just add in our urinary cat plus, so we add in acidity because the the struvites are a, a due to a an alkaline ph in their in their urinary tract so we want to more we want to balance that ph and so we add in um vitamin c to it now you can do that and there's a lot of different products out there we have we have one but there's you know we do that for about vitamin and he's C, in a raw you, want, you know you can do calcium ascorbate you can do um sodium d manos cranberry extracts like there's different those things are also also powerful. very helpful yeah there's tons of, of products out there of that are really helpful for yeah. for uh but, but, a good but for us like like just logically like it's 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 um alkaline we want to make it more acidic so we just add that into their diet we don't change the ingredients no. whatsoever of the raw, in their raw itself, of the raw no. No. linda said you don't think she's sick and then she said well i do have another cat i would pay attention to the to the dynamic between the cat and the litter box and your other cat and see if that could be a source yep. of distress. Desensitation yep. and counter conditioning. Hey, okay. dog dad. What are we okay, supposed well, wait, to be Carrie, sharing? Carrie said live what share. Are we saying? What are we sharing? It still doesn't say share, though. So it's not. What, are you, what did I, I miss? Okay, so, you know, I, I watch um, other people's lives. I know you like, do. I know they, they have like a million followers. So they're like, it's, it's a lot more people. So maybe that's it, but I was just very interested because people were commenting and they were saying, it was saying instead of top fan, and some of them said top fan plus one. I don't know what that means, but it would say, what? instead of saying top fan, it would say, what? share, like S-H-A-R-E-R, -E share. And I'm like, what is a share? That's weird. And then I was like, I wonder if it's because they shared the live. So I asked people oh. to share the live and hey, Scott. <laughs> We don't know. We're live. We don't know. But Heather said, "Gotta go check on an elephant. Have a nice night, y'all." Oh my God, I love you, Heather. Catch you on the replay. I love you. Give the big elephant a big hug for me. You need to do a cat and kitten cook show one time. A cat and kitten cook show. A cat and kitten cook show. That has a catchy. It's a catchy phrase for cat and kitten cook show. Um, if you I could say you it, this. it would be even more. I don't catchy. think I told you this. You haven't told me a lot. I didn't even know about this whole like sharing thing and the sharer and the yeah. Jen Holler's the... here. Hey, Kai. Shay and Jen. Shay and Jen. Love you guys. Ladies. Bye. I love um, you. 
Okay. One way ticket from Bellingham. Just saying. Let's work on it. Just saying. Let's work on it. Um. Okay. Work it. So. I'm sorry. You haven't told me yet. What I haven't is it? told you yet. That <laughs> you I haven't yet. told you yet. <laughs> that um, we're actually working with somebody else. So you guys know that we're working with, working with the amazing else. Ronnie from PerfectlyRawsome.com. Yeah. She's formulating these raw diets for us hey, so Julie. that we can create these videos for you guys, so that you can make your own DIY raw cat food at home on a budget um so so you have no excuse to not do that right unless your excuse is you don't like raw you're not accepting of raw or you're scared of raw and that happens that's okay if you're scared you're scared we like get it. she's scared of, of flying i have to suffer from that but <laughs> i'm so sorry but um, we've recently been chatting with, or I've recently been chatting be like, uh, you with tell Emma Rump Rutherford. Emma! From, I love Emma. From England. From England. And she she's is, proper, she's proper very exciting. properly, it's very properly exciting. It is. She's properly coming up with some other recipes for us that we might be able to gently you cook. Did, you did tell me. I was super excited yeah. about that. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes, I'm very excited about gently cooking stuff. Yeah, so we're going to go. Oh, I did tell you. I remember yeah. that. Oh, here yeah. we go. All right. We, hey, we're gonna, I'm Adrian. Hi. Good to meet you. Nice we to should meet talk you. more. Okay. Um, so, so we're going to be coming up with some other recipes as well that you can cook for your cats. Isn't that exciting? So if you're scared of raw, if you're scared of bacteria and all the, the media and, and uh, a lot of that veterinarians. that media? Like M-E-A-T? Media. 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 And the... And the um, there's a lot of like hype out there. There's that And the of... big pet food companies... Um, processed pet food companies, yeah, they, yeah. they throw stuff out there online that really freak us out about um, about raw food, right? Oh, I mean, they, they good don't night, us Dana. Out. Love you. Good night, Dana. Oh, no. She's uh, leaving. Jen said Diva approves of this. I know because she liked the iPad screen. Love you, Diva. Oh, yay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll wrap it up. We'll wrap it yeah, up. Yeah, Mary, I'm scared of it too. Let me tell you, it was, I, I'll tell you this. I was very scared of raw, very scared of raw to the point that when Scotch was diagnosed and they tried to put him on a prescription diet and Jay said, no, this is it. We had been researching raw food for almost over a year. a year. No, almost a year. Almost a year. Well, I mean, how to make our own at least. Right. And um, I said, I cannot be a part of this. I feel like you're going to kill our cats. And now and I was like, mm -mm. I wish so Watch. deeply I wish so deeply that we would have switched them so much earlier. Yes, because but, the change was so significant. So now it what? grosses me out. I don't like it. Freaks me out. If you're yes, but if, if you're on a budget, Mary, and you're scared of raw, and you still want to feed, and you still yeah, want girl. to feed your cat the best food possible, a gently cooked meal, absolutely fine. It's not. We're not killing too much of all the goodness in it. You're saving money. You don't have to worry about the hype about like salmonella and E. coli and listeria and all this stuff. No, oh, this uh, terrible, all terrible, this terrible things. things. Um, you don't have to worry about it because <laughs> if you gently Emma cook for it, two seconds, and we're like, oh my goodness, it's Emma, absolutely fantastic. It is. It's proper exciting. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be coming out with that too soon. Very excited. Kimberly said, "Yep, I watched them all. Haven't figured. Ha I haven't yet. Still transitioning." Figuring out their likes and dislikes, and discovering, discovering allergies. allergies. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a process. It's but a it's, process. It's a process, my dear it's a girl. Process. Absolutely, it's a process. But I'm telling it's you, it's a something. process. Okay. You keep saying Ju absolutely, it's a process. It's a process. <laughs> Julie said, "My cat will not eat people food at all. Nothing. Nothing. Lol. I don't know if she would eat anything I fix. Lol. It's a transition. I it's a Palin. it's a process. It's Julie, a process. It's a process. It takes some time and then patience and perseverance. It pays. It does. <laughs> oh, oh my. Hi, hey, Lynn. Lynn. Lynn, it's going good tonight. Isabel, hey, thank you. Thank you. We love our shirts. We love our shirts. I got home tonight and I was They're like, I comfy. want a comfy shirt. And check it. I want a comfy shirt. I mean, that's literally what I said when I walked in. I want a comfy shirt. Because I don't even remember what I was wearing really for like 12 hours a day. I don't remember what you wore today either. Oh, the pink button though. Salmon, if you will. I don't salmon. Know. <laughs> it was salmon. It's not pink. It's salmon. Okay. Uh, Brooks, Brooke, I literally I share share. half of my meal with my cats. Keeps my 
fucked up, right? There you go. I wish our cats would eat half of our Brooke, meals. That's that's brilliant. Do you actually not these we days? We eat ramen. This, and, yeah, these nah. days it's like mm -mm, you no, don't no sorry. you don't get this. You this is unhealthy. This. this is not good for it's you. It's unhealthy for every being. Every mammal. Once we get our it. house fixed, though, we're going to be like. We're working on it. We're going to be doing like steamed broccoli and avocado toast. I made avocado toast yesterday. I know that's what inspired me. Yeah. I didn't get any. Um, I left some in the fridge. You could have. The bread, too. The organic bread I left in there, too. Really? Yeah. How did you not see mm -hmm. it? It was right there in the front. Mm -hmm. I literally I don't see had, anything. Oh, Jen. <laughs> Process. Process. <laughs> Canadian. Canadian, it is. Canadian. Yeah, girl, you know how yeah. we be doing it. It's also European. They say process. Jack used to say process. No, you're nice. I'm just Britain. so it's British. She likes to say British. That's what. That's what I can never nail down her accent. I can never nail it down. Yeah. Okay, y'all. Yeah. We need to wrap it. We need to wrap it up. Oh, wait, Kimberly said Rowena likes apples and bananas as far as table apples food. Apples and bananas. That's like our Friday. Friday will come and like steal our spinach. She likes greens. Our, yeah, she, she likes, likes anything green. Like when I'm making my vegetables, she's like jumps up and like. Linda, it. is wet food like tasty treasure? For them or not? Good for it them is, or not? It's I, absolutely good for them, Linda. So uh, all wet of our food cats is always need better than a dry table. food diet. All day long, every day, even if it's the 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 uh, poorest quality wet food is always better than any type of dry food if we're feeding it only to our cats. 100 percent all day long. To read day. Kimberly's comment here. Kimberly you guys know Morris that we have Super Zoo coming up in August, and Kimberly said it was coming to Super Zoo. I am thinking, thinking of getting a cabana. A cabana? And <laughs> it's a cabana, but you know. And on Saturday and day. doing pool day would love for you Kimberly, to join us. We have no plans on Saturday. I would love really to join don't. you as well. We don't, do we? We have nothing nope. scheduled. Nope. nope. Mary, I share my tuna and cheese sandwich with my cat. Oh, Treats. Treats. Good treats. Mine only like... <laughs> Yummy treats. I wouldn't say good. Mine only like what? What is that little... Emoji. Uh, shrimp. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Jen, I love you so much. Uh, good night, Lynn. You have a good night. Yes. Yes, Linda. Brooke, uh, Brooke is correct. Um, what food is better than always, pickle? Always, always, yep, always. Yeah, we need moisture. Pizza. Moist. Yeah, I didn't even know pizza was Pizza? Here. Hello, pizza. Uh, yeah, we are going to hold you to that next year because you're going to miss. You're, you're going to miss. You're going to be here for Super Zoo. Super Zoo so bad this year. You're gonna be yeah, like, you're gonna be like, you're gonna, you're gonna have tickets. FOMO in full effect. Yeah, Brooke said, I hope that's an FOMO? open invite. Hey, girl. Oh, how big is that cabana, baby? How big is it? Let's go. Oh, we're gonna have some I fun. I love it. Actually, talk to us because we have a friend in like the industry, and he might be able to in hook the industry. Us up. Yeah, we could have like you matching cabanas. Cabanas. No. No, we could probably get, like, he might be able to get, um, if we're doing, like, hard rock type, he Just could probably get, there. he could probably get a, like, he's, we've gotten him for free before, with a bottle of vodka. That's Just true. saying. It was Just a saying. dangerous day. Back dangerous in the day, day. But, okay, we love you guys so, much. You guys so um, much. Thank you. Thank you for joining for us, and we will see you on Sunday for... Sundays. Yes, and we're super <laughs> Brooke good. said, don't say moist. <laughs> moist, moist, moist. It's like our favorite word now. No, it's not. It's like, mm. it used to be so hard to say until we started talking cats. And then and it's it was like, like moist, moist food. is so yeah. <laughs> Nate, I cannot wait to see you at CatCon. Nate, so we get to see you Jay in told like me, a week. Jay told me you didn't have in any like tie-dye, you know, to match our CatCon shirts. And that um, you were like, no, sorry, no tie-dye. And I was, I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> because the tie-dye was a surprise to me. Brooke said, worst, worst word, word ever. ever. Thank you. Yay. Shonda. Shonda, what is your, what is your VIP? <laughs> so we have a... <laughs> What's your VIP? I was like, VIP? what is that? What is that short it's like for? like an IP address? VIP. Uh, oh, my. Um, Shonda, we um, we have a Kimberly. membership group. So if you go to our website, twocrazycatladies.com, you go to we our shop that. page. At the top, there is a link. It's actually on our homepage, too. There's a link to join our VIP membership group where you get 20% oh, so off of our products for the lifetime of your membership. And... You get to join this um, private Facebook group where, where we where we're exceptionally we, inappropriate. We're sometimes, sometimes inappropriate, but we're we're a little bit more um, I don't know personal. 
Um, I don't but know we also, that's right. not, that's we not just, really what you, you know get. What, what you do. get is we go live and do giveaways. We do a kit oh, yeah. box. Get a giveaway, we do product, a product giveaway. giveaways. We do that every month. Um, but it's a discount that people really like. Yeah, that's what most people like. The a discount. lot of people join the membership. People don't really like us. They're it. like, hey, bye. We just want, we're, we're here for the discount. No. But that's what that is. Linda, nice talking to you. Reach out to us anytime. Yes. Jen Call said us yes. anytime, Linda. Don't say that word. <laughs> Don't moist, say that word. Moist, moist, moist. Why are you trying to poke the bear? Why? Poke the, poke the, poke the bear. Stir the pot. You know all them things. <laughs> all right. Okay. Time Love to wrap guys. it up. Love Mwah. you guys. Bye y'all. Bye. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Oh, there it is. I thought you didn't know what that meant. I when didn't I said say it the I was first time. You. you did. Well, I mean, you told me.